Hello and welcome back to Just the Facts, where we talk about just facts, only facts, and no opinions. My name is Chloe and I'm here today with my friends Alex. Hello. And Hunter. Hello. This week, you guys, we're going to talk about space. Talk about Not space the key space. on your keyboard, like the actual, the outer space. I'm, I'm glad we I, I'm glad we cleared that up. I just I wanted to make really, sure I'm, no I one brought really... keyboard facts <laughs> with them. I was really confused. So you I just kind of gathered sorry. both. You got both? Yep. What's your keyboard fact? The space bar is in the bottom middle of the keyboard. Wow. And has been since it was created. Wow. Wow. That was... That was really good. That's a good fact. I'm glad he was prepared. Can you can you check that on Snopes for me? I uh, don't check no. it. No, <laughs> I, I I feel like it'll ruin the quality of the fact if we check it. That's fair. That's fair. Alex. Yes. You want to start us off? Uh, yes, I can start you off. So. All right, man. We we all know that the moon exists, right? Mm-hmm. Well, my fact today is that the moon is made of cheese. What kind of cheese? Good cheese. Good answer. No, I'm joking. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it Gouda cheese? Ooh. Chloe's not entertained. Not at all. <laughs> I'm smiling under my mask. I was trying not to laugh. <laughs> no, uh, my fact is that the moon was created when a huge collision uh, tore a chunk of the primitive molten earth away. Uh, a, like an object slammed into it. It mm-hmm. just tore a chunk off, and that's how we got the moon. Uh, scientists have suggested that the impactor was roughly 10% the mass of Earth or about the size of Mars. Hmm. Imagine if Mars just came barreling down on us. There'd be a lot of issues there. Soon. I think I'd survive. Soon? I think, <laughs> Soon. I, I think I'd survive. You'd I'm just, survive? I'm just built different. You're built different? Built, built yeah. Different. Alex, you're the kind of guy that would float around in space and not need a space suit. I'm the kind of guy who would fail at red light, green light. That's true. That's also true. <laughs> That's irrelevant, but very true. I got a lot of facts. Got a lot of that. that was yeah, like that, that was, was like four facts. That was very one. informative. That wasn't a fact. That was a fact booklet, right? A there. fact, a felt, mini fact booklet. Yeah, felt like I just read an article. Yeah, well, that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expose our research methods. <laughs> well, hey, you talked about how the moon was created. I did. Let's take it to my fact. Let's talk about how the moon, part of it, was almost destroyed. Oh. What? In the 1950s, the U.S contemplated detonating a nuclear bomb on the moon. Alex, what? That is not a funny sentence. That sounds like something the U.S. would do. That's true. Okay. <laughs> also, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Russia also thought about it. Why? Leave the moon alone. <laughs> what? What the poor moon do to you guys? Why would they do that? The United States <laughs> contemplated because, as a result, they hoped it would boost morale for citizens in the Cold War and the space race. That's crazy. It'd be kind of hard to be excited about the space, the space race if there was no more moon. If someone walked up to me, if someone from the government walked up to me <laughs> and was like, do you want to blow up the moon? I'd, I'd, I'd feel like I'm in a fever dream. They weren't blowing up that the entire crazy. thing. They no. were just making enough so that you could see a little bit from Earth. That's crazy. That's still a lot. That's still a oh, lot. Because yeah. that's far. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They uh, pulled it off, though, because they thought the moon landing would be cooler. Ah, I think it is cooler. That is cooler. Or else they'd just be making another crater. Did you know? Hunter, did you know? Here's another fact. Did you know the moon landing happened? I uh, Sources say this is false. Oh. The moon landing was fake. <laughs> the moon landing was not fake. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that kind of leads into my fact. Was that everything you had? Was that is that everything a- I have. What is your fact, Chloe? Okay, so my fact. So do you, are you guys familiar with Laika? She was a, a dog. The moon dog. The moon dog. Yes. I like how we all had moon facts. So Laika was, for those of you that don't know, a stray dog that Russia just picked up off the street. They actually picked up a lot of stray dogs and they tested them in like, you know how astronauts go through like that training, like mm-hmm. to see how they'll fare in space. Mm-hmm. They did that to like stray dogs, which is, you know, a little unethical, but that's whatever. A, that's very unethical. <laughs> yes. So they ended up landing on Laika. Because she t- did the best in the testing. And they gave her one meal that she wasn't even supposed to get. A, f- a physician actually broke protocol to give her the, the meal. And they sent her up into space thinking that she would die with a lack of oxygen. That didn't end up happening. And her spaceship, I think it was the Sputnik 2, if I remember correctly, went up in flames. Oh, no. And Laika did not survive oh. for very long. 
That, that's such a sad fact. And that's not my fact. That was my background to my fact. Oh. This better, this better get better. This, be, this better get better. So, Laika actually kind of went down in history because she was the first living organism to go into space. Well, the first, like, living, like, you know, animal. And that was in 1957, which is kind of crazy. She kind of paved the way for, like, future space travel, like the moon landing. That didn't happen in 1961, which was four years later. <laughs> so because of, like, a sacrifice, that's why we can travel to the moon safely without exploding. I'm, I'm pretty sure the moon landing happened in 69. It was 69. 69. Sorry. That's what it says on my phone. And I, what did I say? 61? You said 61. Yep. That was wrong. Also, you said here uh, this happened in 1957. 1957 was yeah. like. I'm pretty sure when they were contemplating uh, blowing up the moon was 1958. <laughs> they were angry what? that that thing went on flames. <laughs> no, I, that's crazy. Can I be so honest? I'm with not you right done with now? my fact, Alex. Too bad. But okay. Can I be so honest with you right now? What? I genuinely thought your fact was going to be like, yeah. So this dog, it was like a pug. What's that was fact? part of. Well, the fact was that. So Laika means Barker in Russian, which I think is interesting. Barker? Yes. Like a, a dog? A hunter's dying. <laughs> Hunter, I don't think hunters ever laughed this much during a just You, <laughs> Alex, were not that far off. What? You were like, yeah, it was a pug. No, Laika means Barker. <laughs> no, Laika was a mostly Siberian husky. <laughs> See? This was... This is what... I think you're missing the point here, like a, Chloe. So this is like a, I'm not. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I was not listening to whatever you were saying. I was very <laughs> interested in what kind of dog she was. I think you're missing the point here, Chloe. What'd you that say? The fact that we're talking about the first like organism from Earth, like in space, like purposefully, not like flung by a asteroid or something. Right. Your fact was that it was. Oh, her name <laughs> her means her Barker name in means Russian. Dark Barker. Which not, I thought was really great. It's the, it, the dog was. Well, the that's first well. Dog. That was the le- okay. So that was the leading fact. <laughs> that was the leading and, fact. And then her name, Laika, was the fun fact that I added on later. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? <laughs> I'm kidding. Because, a, because you had such a good fact that like this is the first dog and this is the first organism in space. Yes. But the one you're more interested in is that meant. Barker in Russian. No, that was the fun <laughs> fact I was trying to put emphasis on because it's fun. Because the rest of like a story is not fun and it's super I'm tragic. Sorry, Chloe, but the way you demonstrated that I'm to us sorry. was absolutely awful. That was, that was poor execution. That was I'm sorry. You led up with this very sad thing and then it was like, yeah, it names Borker. No, I was Bork. trying to lead up that. Borker. Bork. <laughs> I th- I think you need to I think you need to finish the show before we continue. <laughs> this. I'm fighting back tears right now. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for uh, tuning into Just the Facts this week. We'll uh, we'll see you at the same time, same place next week on High Noon Friday. And uh, while my friends continue to laugh, I'll uh, I'll say goodbye for them. Bye. Bye.